So good evening, everyone. Uh, welcome to today's session for exploring Google Forms. Uh, uh, I'll be just sharing my screen with you. So are you able to see the screen? It's very present. OK. Yes. Are you able to see the screen properly? Is it properly visible? Yeah, perfect. OK, great. So welcome to this uh, uh, session for Exploring Google Form. We shall quickly have a view of these uh, slides. And then we shall be going with a, a demonstration of the forms. So I just prepared these particular uh, slides for any novice user to start with forms. I'm just not getting started with Google Forms, how to open forms and how to you know get Google Forms and all these basic things I've mentioned over here. Right? So you have to go to Drive first and click on the New button. And then where uh, you get this uh, option of um, having a new form. OK? Uh, uh, these things will open. And you know, there's a more option. You have to go to Google Forms. And then you get an option of having a blank form or to open a form with a template. Right? That's all options are available with you. And uh, what all things can you do with the form? You can take a personal feedback. You can work with smaller businesses. OK, you can, in education, you can have create quizzes and worksheets for the students to complete. So these are the different uses of the forms. Creating simple form is you just create a blank uh, sheet form. OK, and um, <clears throat> this is open untitled form. This will open an untitled uh, form, and uh, you can start entering the questions. Now, there are different types of questions that you can uh, involve in it. One is a short answer, a question with short answer, which is a short description. This is how it will look. Describe your favorite moment from the wedding. This is how it will look. So it's a very short answer. Then you can have multiple choice or check boxes or drop down list. Multiple choices uh, will look like this, or check boxes will look like this. This I'll be covering up in detail the different categories of uh, the questions. When you have a linear scale, this we had seen the last time, but we'll cover that today as well. Uh, you can have a question that will contain uh, fetching the date and time, right? You can also change the format of it. So another way is using templates. Today, we'll just have an overview of different templates that uh, Google is already providing us. Uh, templates galleries, using how to save your responses. Right. So this is uh, one of the query being, we were discussing in the beginning of this session, how to record the responses and how to access the responses that we shall be looking into, and uh, how to save the responses. So as I said, if, uh, once you are editing the form, you have two options, questions and responses. When you click on the response, is this kind of a uh, box will open up. Where is the icon of the uh, sheet? So when you click on it, it will ask an option whether you want to have a separate sheet or what you want to do. Right? So create a new sheet. So it's basically create a new sheet and you just create it. It will store it in the same folder where the form is there. Right. So I have just quickly went through this particular slide. And what is important is that this slide will be shared with you. And these are the resources which I want you to go through once you have the access of this slide. Now, these resources are, are perfectly curated resources. Now, first two resources will help any novice users to start with the form. And then uh, first three resources, rather. And four, five, and six, out of which five and six are the videos, which are worth watching. If you are an educator, there are certain tools that will be useful. Uh, for you, if uh, for uh, you know, taking quiz or taking examinations or taking touching data from the users, so this is something I wanted to share with you. And these are the last slides, so I, nothing important to discuss about it. This is a standard thing, right? So now uh, let us just you know have an overview of forms. So I'm again sharing my screen over here. I've, I've created a few forms today so that uh, it will be easier for you to um, understand that thing. Okay. Right. 
Okay. The very first thing is I would like to take a um, demonstration of an how to have images inside the form and how to prepare a form with images. So here I've already prepared one demo form, which I've mentioned as image form. So I'll be, since we already have the knowledge of how to create the form, so right now I'm not going to the details of how you create the form. This is a particular form. Now how you can add images, I'll take up an, uh, a C sheet. See, you can have a form in this way, that how many people you see in this image, you see? So there, there you keep an image over here, and after that image, you can have a multiple choice thing. If there are five people, there are three people, four people, and two people. So this is a way how you can use images to ask the questions. Similarly, if you want your students to write something about the image, then you can say, describe the scene in 100 words. And then, yeah. describe the scene in 100 words. And then you can have an answer recorded as a paragraph. You have to keep it as a paragraph. So this is something uh, where you have to evaluate yourself the answers of it in the response sheet. Uh, one typical question which we need to ask uh, for the students is say, name major four rivers of India. And here I have a map showing the rivers of India, okay, rivers and lakes of India. And then I've mentioned a check boxes where more than one responses can be recorded. Similarly, a silly another question is identify Hindu gods in this image. So there are different images of the gods, and uh, we have mentioned the check boxes. You can, answer, you can select any of these check boxes. Uh, so multiple uh, answers, if need to be selected, you need to have check boxes. If single answer is there, then you need to have um, radio buttons, just like this. Right? So now, till till this particular point, uh, the thing is that the, the image is in the question, and the answer is something in text. Okay, see this, you have an image and there's a question over here. Image where you have to describe, you have an image, the answer you have to select from there. Okay, you have an image and the answer you have to select from the check boxes. But now this is a typical question I've taken where the answers you have to select are the images itself. So out of the following images, which images of Gujarat state? So here there is image one, there is image two, there is image three, and there is image four. So you see the question is textual, and the answer is that you have to select the image. So imagine you are you are you are taking a test of standard grade three or grade four, where you are putting the figures or graphics of the animals, and you are asking the students identify which one of these is a tiger. Okay, I'll just take an example of it. So. So to do this thing, right, you will just click on add a question. I think it's adding in the top. So if this happens, see, this, this is what has happened. I, I didn't want the question to be added at the top. I wanted to add it at the end. So I'll just delete this. I even delete this question. And I'll go, I select this question first, and then I will click on add. So this will add, select a question here. So you can mention, say if you, I'll just take a simple example out of identify the image of a tiger. Okay. So here is an option. Now in the option, okay, you have to just write here image one. And here you see there's a category of adding image. You click on add image, okay, Google image search. Now see the best part of this image search is that here what you will always find images is that copyright free. So I will say that image of, or say, I'll just type out uh, lion. Okay, so I'll select this. I will insert here. So this is inserted. I will have another option. 
Image two. I'll click on this. The second image I will select is of a tiger. I'll select the image. I'll have another option. Image three. I'll click and add image. Go to Google Image Search. I'll here write down as leopard. Okay, so I'll, I'll select an image that is uh, quite misrepresenting, which will, you know, little confuse the students among being tiger or leopard. And likewise, if you can add, add one more image four. And just write your big cat. So now see, this is already entered. Now you see the type of the question is the text and you want to record the responses in multiple choice. So when you see this multiple choice, it means it is any one of the option has to be selected. But if you keep your check boxes, okay, then you have to select multiple options out of the check boxes. So right now it's multiple choice. I'm keeping it and we will just view this form. Okay, now see this form. How many people do you see in this image? Okay, so I see there are, there are one, two, three, four, and five. So I click on this five. Okay, describe the scene in 100 words. I will just type down the answer like two friends are roaming in the park. They seem to be very friendly with each other and and it goes so this is this is the text response they have to record major rivers four major rivers so here i have multiple check boxes so i'll just select randomly ganga yamuna godavari and kaveri out of the hindu gods okay i'll select shiva durga ganesh Ram Sita, these are the four gods. Okay, out of the following image, which is of the Gujarat state? So here you have to select any one. I select one. Out of the four image, identify the image of a tiger. So I just identify the image of a tiger. Okay, and here is a I submit. Okay, so since I have not yet made this form a quiz. So since I have not made this as a quiz, there is no option of whether the answer is right or wrong. But here my concept is not to correct the form responses, but here to see how the responses are being recorded. So I am again come on to the editable page of this form and here I see the responses. Is everybody with me on the same page? Yes? Yes. 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 Perfect. Yes. 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 Okay, thanks. Yeah, so see, this is a response. So it is one response, and all the questions have been asked, answered. So it is there. Right? So you see this response sheet, and over here, you see this is a green thing, which is the sheet. So I, I say create a spreadsheet. So I say create a new spreadsheet. So if I want any responses to be recorded in existing spreadsheet, then I can select existing, but I want to create a new spreadsheet. So just create. The spreadsheet will open and yeah, sorry, I just forgot to mention the name of the student. So again, uh, it will not show the name. So the, this is question number one. How many people do you see? Answer is five. Describe the scene in, in 100 words. So this is the scene in 100 words. How it is? Right? Name major five uh, rivers. Four rivers, sorry. This is the answer okay 
Hindu gods? This is the answer. Two. Okay. Now, I am going to the same form. This is how the responses are recorded. I am going to the same form, going to the question. Now I am converting this as a quiz. So over here you have to go to the settings. To say, say, I'll just say collect email. Okay, limit the response to one. The moment I make it as a quiz and I click any of the answers over here, any of the questions over here, you will see the differences. It will show me here the answer key option. So here I have to click on the answer key and the answer. This image is this answer is for say one point. Okay, so here one point, and the answer, correct answer is say five. So five is the correct answer, and this is already done. Okay. Similarly, now here I cannot keep an answer key. So what I will do is I will click it, click it as one point. Someone request. I cannot be mentioning a particular answer to this, so I'll just keeping it as done because this is to be checked manually. Similarly, here if I click, so the four correct this thing. Here I click on answer key. It is again one point. This Ganga, Yamuna, Kodavari, Kaveri. These are the answer keys. Okay, this is done. Here also, click on the answer key. Shiv. Durga, Ganesh, Ram Sita. Okay, here also answer key. Click on the answer key. And image number two is the correct answer. I think I forgot to add the point on the previous question. Yes, zero point. Okay. And over here, the answer key again here is image two. And this is also one point. Okay. Now this is already saved. Okay, and I just go to the preview section. I'm just closing this form right here now. I'm, I'm going to the preview section now. When I go to the preview section, now it will be asking me the email. I'll just mention as Dr. Varya G India at the rate email.com. So and I'll quickly just attempt this five. Just assemble letters, selections, okay. And here I go, I just submit it. Now, once you have converted the form into a quiz and you submit, okay, there is an option which will be available over here is view score. So here it is five out of six, which is five out of six, which is correct. Now, this is not correct because I have not, we have not put up a correct answer for question number two. So that is showing is incorrect. All other answers are same, are correct. So it's when you when you are having a quiz, obviously, but obvious, you must not include a question that will have 
a paragraph kind of an answer. So this is one lesson we have to learn. Otherwise, your scoring will get misjudged. Okay. Now, if I see the responses, here there are two responses. Okay. And here already this uh, is open. Here you see the second response is already recorded. And the email address which I added over here, email address and score are the two fields which are added later. Because since this Excel sheet was already created. And the images, uh, the answers are recorded over here. So this is how you work with a form which is an image. Okay. Similarly, I have got another demo form. And so before that, uh, right. So I suppose this is okay with the images. Any doubts till now for image forms? No, sir. Okay. Great. So I'm, I'm taking another form here. And this will be a video form. Don't worry, we don't have much questions in that form. And uh, Reshma also has to uh, add on to that form as well. So this is a video form where I've just inserted a clip. Okay. See, the question is watch the clip and answer the question below. Which movie is this? Okay. Now, second is watch the video and answer the below questions. With what place is this? So I'll just quickly just preview it to just give you an example how it will appear. So this is another thing. You always have the answer if you take it from the YouTube. So you must upload a recorded video rather than taking from a YouTube. I'll just show you how it is possible. Right. So you have the answer now. The, the movie is Shirabi. OK, similarly. But now see, here in, in this case, you will not be able to get the answer. I'm sorry for this uh, speed issue today. So obviously, now see question is what is this? What place is the answer? It is an ancient temple. So once again, it is not a quiz. So so here, yeah, once you submit, I have not given any marks to this. Submission will be just giving a, uh, the best part, the thing is, how will you add a video to this? Okay, so here I'm having, I will add another question. Okay. And before that, you see this uh, video icon over here, add video. So I will add a video over here. Now, it will always ask you the YouTube link. Okay, so, but obvious and by default, you can only add a video from the YouTube link or you have an URL. These are only the two options to which you can add a video. And you can just add a, a video like uh, Taj Mahal. So when you select a video, be sure you select the one with the lesser, uh, you know, minutes. So I'll, I'll try to see if I get uh, something lesser than, uh, yeah, this is only one is through three minutes. But again, it's not that. Now, this video is added over here. And the question is about. So here I will write, watch the video and answer the below questions. I will I will put this thing, drag it and put this thing up on the question. Here is the question. What monument is discussed in the 
and you just you know you can just have a short answer you can have multiple choice questions likewise and when you preview this okay you can see it's already added over here again as i said it's a simple question the answer is there in the file title taj mahal so obviously so this is something you know your question should be said that it has to be uh, possible that one has to look at the video we have to go through the video and then the answer will be coming from the parts of the video so this is something from the video form i suppose this is clear to you uh before we proceed ahead you have any questions with this so dr varia i just wanted to add a little bit uh, a safety issue here uh it is always recommended that you watch the video because yes. when the student clicks on that youtube icon in the video it takes him to the youtube channel so you don't want the student to be able to see more different videos because it can relate to any kind of uh, uh interests you already know when you search on youtube you get multiple so the safer way or the idea is that when you watch a video before posting create a playlist in your own youtube uh, uh account so everybody has a free youtube account just make sure that uh, you create a playlist that means you save those videos in your playlist and only share it from that a uh, playlist so what happens the student will only be able to see the video और एक बार वीडियो हो गया तो वो क्लोज हो जाएगा यूट्यूब ही विल नॉट बी शोन मोर ऑप्शन टू सी मोर वीडियो स्टूडेंट Right. So I've got this form already pre-designed. You can have a form description where you can mention that why you are fetching this data or what is the purpose of this form. You can mention it like that. Okay. So you see, uh, I'll just quickly enter this thing. Say my name is uh, Vishal. sorry not in this this is editable version so you see i have asked for a name over here which is a short answer i have asked for the grade and here i have asked for updating of the mark sheet so here it is an add file here it is a short bio add file so let us see how it first of all how it reacts how it works we we'll go to preview okay now this is how the how the form looks so i will just enter as vishal varia so i am into higher education okay now here is add file so here it will it will be giving me an option to update something so if i want to upload it from my uh, computer drive okay say for example i i'll take up this thing okay and this is say my mark sheet so here it shows the option of one add more files but it will only work if you have kept this option open while selecting this particular uh, question so i'll show you what it is so i'll just say upload okay so that data is uploaded a short bio it has to be a video see here you can always select what kind of file you want to upload Okay, so rather than uploading, I'll be just taking going to the my my drive, which will be easier for me to add. It is uh, miscellaneous. Yeah. So the difference between uploading and selecting of my drive is this. So when I uploaded the image, you see that it took time to upload the image. If you upload a video, it will take longer time. But if it's in your drive, it will easily take the link from it. I just say submit. Okay, so response is submitted. Now, how you can, as a teacher, how you can access it? You can add me or teacher. You see, there are responses. There's two responses. One I tried earlier. 
this is second okay if i see here individual data fetch one of two i'll just go to two of two this is what i have from, uh, vishal varia this is what happened and these are the files uploaded now you want to access the files what the files uploaded you have to go to the response sheet okay. now see this particular record is generated this is i have uh, filled up in your front of you 23 october at 8:37 name vishal varia higher education and here what will happen in place where your home is residing and all these files will be stored there i'll show you so here you have a file you can access click on it it will open the video file i'm just showing it to you how it works you know to see the entire video So here it will open as a video file, and you can just see the video as it is. Right. So this is how the video will appear if you want to select individual responses. Okay. Now, most important is see I have in my folder I have made a folder of say training sessions, and within this folder today is session three. In session three, I have created this folder, and here is the form data fetch. So here the form is there, and here the response sheet is there. And the response sheet which you have seen is this. This is how it looks. And the files will be recorded in the subfolder. So here it is a data fetch subfolder. It will contain two subfolders. One is a short bio file response and last mark sheet file response. So when I say last mark sheet, two mark sheets are there. I I have uploaded this file in front of you and similarly a short bio i have uploaded the same file so it will be appearing as the same file so this is how it will appear in the data fetch okay if i how this to happen how this will happen go to questions okay. now you want you want to add one more question is that right, a short bio or this thing a uh, mark sheet or before that we want to add and the question is please upload your pp photo okay now here the type of the question you have to select file upload okay and here you have to select continue Now here it will ask you allow only specific file types. Yes. Now you want to have a PP photo. Obviously the file has to be either an image or the file has to be either a PDF document. Any of the two files can be uploaded. Many maximum number of files to be uploaded only one. Maximum file size 10 MB. Now this form can accept up to one GB of files. Now one GB of files means what? One response, one respondent is uploading files. Now uska GB कितना होता है उसके ऊपर डिपेंड करता है द फॉर्म इज एक्सेप्टिंग वन जीबी सो पर कैंडिडेट इट विल एक्सेप्ट वन जीबी ओके यर यू कैन चेंज दिस ओके बट आई एम नॉट एक्सप्लोरिंग दिस ऑप्शन राइट अवे सो मैक्सिमम फाइल साइज इज टेन एन एम बी यू कैन इंक्रीज यू कैन डिक्रीज राइट सो टेन एम बी आई एम कीपिंग इट एज इट इज एंड आई एव जस्ट एडेड दिस क्वेश्चन राइट नाउ बिफोर द मार्कशीट एंड लेट इज सी हाउ दिस क्वेश्चन अपियर Okay, now see. Please upload the PP photo. Now, since I have already asked for only PDF files and image files, it will only allow me to upload only PDF files or image files. I'll just upload this image. so this is the issue so when you upload it from your pc it will take some time to upload when you do, you know take it from your drive it will be straight straight away taking from the drive so this have it appears i have not filled up any other uh, forms and i am not submitting right now i'm just showing it how it looks like so uh, this is about data fetch
Okay. So till now, do you have any questions or any comments for this? So we have seen three types of forms as of now, an image form, a video form, and a data fetch form. Are, are we having any questions for the, till this? Anyone? Three categories of form we have seen. How to create image form, how to create a video file form, and how to create a form for fetching the data. So a quick question, uh, Dr. Varia. When you showed uh, the data file, does it automatically yes. create a folder, or you have to create a folder in your uh, drive? No, it will, not, yeah, it will automatically create a folder in the drive. OK, so we can just go on that folder. The moment you create a folder, you create a folder. Yes, it will create a folder in the same area, in the same folder where your form is residing. Great, yeah. So in my case, the form was the categories of form we have discussed. Uh, one important topic which I want to share with you today is how to have an auto certificate, which is something very important for an educator as an educator. So uh, for that, you have to have the form as a quiz. So I've not prepared a quiz and I'll, what I'll be doing is I'll be just taking a random form in just in front of you. I'm creating another form. So to create a form, go to new, go to forms. And here you have an option, blank form or okay. So these are the different templates in front of you. Worksheet, event feedback, contact information, RSVP, something like that. Okay, now, now say I'll be just taking an event feedback form. I'll just click on it. The moment I click on it, a blank event form, feedback form is already mentioned. I will just say, session three event feedback. This is just a form. So everything is pre-filled. You see how satisfied you are with the event, how relevant and helpful was this event for your job and everything. So this is a feedback form. But remember, this is not a quiz. Okay. Now to in order to convert a form, okay, in order to convert a form uh, or in order to have a certificate auto generated, you must have an add-on. So here there are different add-ons available. Okay. You just click on the add-on to you how this certificate add-on will work. Because of the speed, it's taking time. Okay. So there are a lot many add-ons over here. You don't have to go through all. You just write down certificate. So you when you just type the three letters, you see there are three categories of certificate. Send certificate and cert emerge. Cert emerge is already out of the pre installed. So once you install an add on, this particular icon will appear. If you have add on installed, you will see icons. If you have add on installed, you will see extra add on icon. So you have to click on this and you have to check which add-on you have to see. I have I've got two add-ons, Doc Offender and Certify. So I'm using Certify Them app. Am I still online? Yeah. You see this add-on is not here showing it right now. 
but if you install the add-on it will show there since i have installed the add-on this is the last button appearing over here okay now see enable this is how it will appear enable certify then in this case see earlier when i was trying it was showing me only two options certify and then help maybe somebody was not getting it mapped with this form. so this was an error so i just close the form and open the form again and this another thing is open in front of me enable certify this certify concept is very very important as an educator this is going to be very helpful to you okay and here it is a get started this is a free utility for us there is no charge at all for this but it has got certain limitations the limitation is that you can have only 100 certificates issued in a day in a day so if if you are see this feedback form someone fills in if more than 100 entries are there it will stop collecting the responses okay but the next day it will again restart the responses collecting of the responses so over here you see certificate records passing 80% okay you can keep any of these marks 80% 100% say this is a feedback form it doesn't contain any question that is to be evaluated neither that i'm giving any uh, quiz i'm not uh, say marking any score to this so i give it as 0% okay now you see these are the templates you see this preview all these are your templates this is how the certificate will look like okay after which i will just select one certificate this is this certificate is a golden this golden certificate is looks good to me it sounds good to me so i will go to my form and golden is already selected over here and this has options i'll just select golden over here okay now here is a quota 89 emails remain now this is 100 emails will be available per id okay so this is my id today i have already tested certain certify uh, them uh, quizzes so this is showing me lesser numbers at this point and so i will i will come to this feature advanced features later but now you have to just turn on once you turn on okay once you turn on it's already linked with this particular form and you will receive an email that the certificate is turned on on your quiz i'll just show you mujhe jaago chhe na hai yes sir are you there yes <laughs> great great i know i know things get little boring when it is it's very slow or it's getting monotonous it gets uh, boring thai jai thodu so okay. now see certificate is now turned on for the exam session 3 event feedback this is the name of the form that we have kept this is the email which will you know you will receive a uh, notification in the email that certifying certificate is turned on so over here i have i've just turned on the certificate okay now i will i, will, I have to this you know before finalizing you can say email me the sample okay so that will email you and here is the advanced option this is exactly why how you receive your certificates when you fill up the feedback forms okay so thank you for this is a message which once it will once you submit the form this is a message will come okay here the name of the sender so if i am the sender i will mention as dr vishal varia subject of your uh, email is here is your certificate over here okay contents of the body okay dear um, this is a field so full name and this is an identifier this is a field it will fetch the details from the form whatever the name of the person appear in that form which will be there full name okay okay uh, you can just type out any message here whatever message you want you can type it down 
here is an option whether you want to send the certificate as a PDF certificate or as an image. I usually select image because it's easier to share the image. Okay, and I will just save the change. Okay, if I see the golden certificate, see this certificate declares that Lisa Simpson. So here is the name. Springfield Elementary is the name of the school. So this is taken from the form. Has completed school's ground safety is the title of the form. On this date is the date of the form with passing score 95 percentage. Okay, so it's a score. So here there is a name and there is a name of the school. So I think our form doesn't contain this thing. So I will just add quickly. I will quickly add this thing. Okay, I will add school name. Okay, now I will just preview this. Okay, email address. I'll again fill it as Dr. Varya dot gg india at the rate gmail dot com. This is very important because this is where your certificates will be delivered. Okay, so if your email, if you write your email wrongly over here, your certificate will not be delivered to you. Now this is, I will write the name Dr. Vishal Varya. Now this is this is exact place from where the uh, certificate will pick up your name. So how do you wish to appear your name over here? Okay, if I just mention here, I would like to say Dr. Varya. So this is how exactly, this is how exactly the name will appear on the form. Okay, and here I will say Rosary School Rajkot. Okay, rest, all of the fields I'm not filling, keeping it blank over here. There is no such field as date, okay, and I'm just clicking on submit. Okay, I think it has to be filled up uh, quickly. So this is it. See, if you take a template, you never know that what are the required questions. You have to always edit the template. The one moment. Uh, we still have people joining us. Let's see who is joining. So it's excellent. Now see, there is no particular strix marks over here, so I'm omitting this thing and I'm just submitting it. The moment I submit, okay. Thank you for the submission. If you passed, you will receive your printable certificate shortly. Okay. So this is how it appears, and I would have received my certificate over here. Ah, see, this is how it is. See, here is your certificate. So, Dr. Varya, Dr. Varya is how it is mentioned. This is the message I had typed in the message box, and this is my certificate. Yeah, done. Session three, event feedback. See, yeah. this is the name of the form that I had kept. It has taken. This is the name I have in the inside them it is taken from there this is the name of the school i've taken very much is somewhere i've, I've entered is another identifier okay and the best part is the track record of which certificate is issued to which particular candidate this is very very brilliant and i really thank i'm thankful to the certified that uh, add-on which is giving this thing so how it will reflect in your session three see 
I have opened this event feedback. This is our event feedback form on which I have applied the certified uh, certified name thing. Okay. Somewhere it will be uh, there inside my drive. Yeah. Certify them records over here. See, it will be, it will be storing this record inside your root drive. Okay. So again, another file will be prepared. You see, Doctor Varia, Vishal Varia, Doctor Varia. This is the file. This is identifier, identifier two, hundred percent score, pass two, and this is the certificate ID. So every of the record is maintained over here. So that's that's it for uh, this session, and this is the feedback uh, thing. And for this purpose, I would also uh, request you to quickly um, one session three. Now we know how certificates are getting generated. So here, see, I've already prepared a form, which is which is the feedback. Actual feedback form over here. I'm going to share the link with you right now. This is how you share it. Shorten it. Copy it. And go to the chat option. Brilliant. Today we don't have a single chat. Great. Oh, that's it. We have some. Maybe I started a little late. Yeah. So this is a feedback link. I stop sharing my screen now. So fine. Open for categories of form. How to have images inside the form? How to have videos inside the form? How to fetch data using the form? And four. How to add uh, auto certifications inside the form? So, and a little uh, too much for the session today for one hour, and because of the low bandwidth, Hello? it has taken it is taken more time. Yes, Priyama. Yeah, sorry, I figured out when you told me how when I saw that response thing. So, uh, what I did was the form which was turned in. I just uh, clicked on the edit button there and saw the response that's how you go and see it Great. right and if yeah. i want to create uh, i want the response to be in a uh, excel spreadsheet then there is an option i create a spreadsheet so that all the response goes there is yes. that correct yeah okay i yes. found it found priya, it yeah, yeah. Correct. and one more thing priya you don't even have yeah. to go to that turned in form even if you okay. go where you created the form in your folder Okay. Like okay. The base folder. You should be able to see that one response was submitted in that response okay. section. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I'll and I'll then, try doing all that. Yeah, because it will yeah. be difficult. So now, if you have more than 40, 50 students, it will be difficult to go to each form and click edit. So okay. Yeah, all true. the data is automatically stored in your own uh, main form. Form. Yeah. So the whatever form I create, I just open that, click on edit, and see all the responses. Yeah, you don't even have to click on edit because if you are the owner, you automatically uh, go to the edit part only. Yeah. Okay. So this this is the form where I have created, not the one yeah. which I have submitted there. No, no, no. Wherever you create a form, the uh, response thing shows when people submit it. Okay. Yeah, I'll check that. I'll check that. And mm -hmm. if any doubts, then I'll message you or then we can discuss. Tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. WhatsApp yeah. group is great for discussion. We also want yeah. to start using Correct. our Google group, which is like an email. So automatically people get emails on questions. And uh, we can discuss whatever uh, platform is comfortable. Please try it. Uh, Sushma ma'am also even sent me a form to test it out. So even if you have friends around, your colleagues, just send it to them that can you test the form to see it, if it is working correct. And that's a great way to actually uh, correct the things that are not working. Yeah. So uh, for all the educators here in this meeting today, um, certification is very, very important. It will It's, it's an instant gratification. जैसे ही क्विज कंप्लीट होता है उसके तुरंत बाद उसको सर्टिफिकेट मिल जाता है एंड द स्टूडेंट इज वेरी हैप्पी
So this is something you must always try. Uh, I will just add one more feedback over here. अगर आप इंडिविजुअल अकाउंट यूज करते हो तो आप आपको सर्टिफाइड एंड एड ऑन आप एड कर सकते हो लेकिन स्कूल डोमेन अकाउंट then your school school administrator will have to add your add demo hello reshma you got cut dr varya now we can hear you sorry now we can hear okay. you so i think this is network issue yeah network issue so the thing is, so i just asked you that uh, do we have anything to be shared today now uh, no i think uh, it's great some of them are asking about uh, they already got the certificate so everyone is very happy uh, so we all all know how to <laughs> add for certificates to the forms uh, actually i yes, think no, i did some mistake and uh, in my i received the certificate but in my certificate it is mentioned mukta certificate is awarded to mukta sablok from mukta sablok house so i think i have done some mistake somewhere <laughs> so maybe for the was, school not, yeah mukta was, you know, for the school you might have written your own name again <laughs> I was in a very hurry to get the certificate, <laughs> uh, so <laughs> uh, so I think yes. I did some yes. mistake. <laughs> <laughs> I record from this uh, sheet, and then you will be able to add your uh, uh, fill up the form again. I'll do it for you. Don't worry. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, uh, Doctor Varya. Uh, probably. Uh, uh, see, once you fill, yes. Uh, there is Miss Rosa is also saying yes, that Rishma. two times name is asked. So if you can just check the form once again. Yeah, I, I will just check it. I will just check. Yeah, I will do it the needful, and I will again we share the link if required. Perfect. So uh, I think, yeah, this is for today. So see, um, creating all in front of you and demonstrating everything takes uh, it's more time, especially when we are facing the low bandwidth. We have these issues. Otherwise, there was plenty of things to be shared with you today. I'm sure Reshma also has prepared something to be shared with you today. But uh, we have already taken up the time for today's session. And uh, needless to mention, we'll be having very interesting and important session tomorrow from seven to eight, where we are having a fun assessment. So we are we are seeing we are exploring the forms the maximum level. So tomorrow's session will be very very important if you're an educator. so how to make assessments easier how to make assessments a fun that is a session tomorrow so uh, if you have yet not registered it then please register the links have already been shared with you into the uh, group and maybe tomorrow morning again i'll, I'll be sharing it and just a quick so, re request any other question? Yeah. yeah just a quick request to all attendees it will be great if you can join within the first 10 15 minutes because um, dr varya has to continuously switch between admitting so it is okay because we yes. are not making it as a youtube live we want to keep it as a meet session where we can talk to you you can talk to us otherwise if we do it youtube live you can automatically join the session but then there is no way that we can talk other than just chatting so just a please please request that please join in time so that you don't miss out on main good things also yeah so uh, amber uh, uh, is asking that is a doctor, uh, hello uh, doctor i think uh, what having. so amber you hello? have to join the gag uh, hello yeah i think what yes, problem yes. mukta faced even yeah. i have faced the same thing awarded to priya from priya rajwadkar same thing yes ma'am okay ma <laughs> dr varya will send it again don't worry yes please go ahead and share the whatsapp uh, group link we really want lot of uh, educators to be able to benefit from these sessions so please feel free to share and along with the yeah, whatsapp yeah, I, I link just try, please I share just... the yeah i will i'm sharing this in whatsapp to see uh 
how it is uh, look yeah uh, we can look at that yeah we yeah, look at yeah. it yeah i'm just sharing it uh, so that uh, you know how it looks and once uh, those who join new uh, uh, people in whatsapp yeah, please be sure to uh, even fill in the form for ji ji ahmedabad or if you are joining ji ji pune make sure to fill up the form so we have your information and you can uh, get uh, emails for the next sessions as well i am sharing everything into this uh, code i am sharing everything into this codes and, and people are still joining us <laughs> they forgot I'm so glad people are still joining us. they forgot the time maybe i uh, maybe some other um, okay probably i don't know whether the entire thing has uh, been pasted over here okay this is how no. i'm getting it i've sent it in come. the whatsapp group can you just have a look this is how the certificate I, looks and just give me a moment then let me just first share the I'll just I'll just check it out. Ah, so everybody is getting the same way, I guess. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, we will do one thing. Uh, Dr. Varia will send the feedback form again. Yeah, I think I'll have to check what is wrong with the feedback form. So here I have shared you the links for connecting with the groups. So you, uh, for Pune also the WhatsApp link is there, and for Ahmedabad also the WhatsApp group link is there, and all other page link and all are mentioned over here. Yeah, I'll remember. So that's fine. To, uh, uh, thank you very much, yeah, all, for today's session. Yeah. Yes, uh, Rishma, please continue. No, no, no. I just, uh, I just said that's a great idea. I will also share all the uh, group details and uh, form everything for tomorrow's session. Yeah. Yes, yeah, that's great. So, uh, thank you one and all for being today as a uh, part of this session. I know this session was a little lengthy and a little uh, less uh, romantic or rather, you know, less interesting because of the too many things I've covered in one session. But uh, I am hopeful that this is very useful to you as an educator, as a teacher. And these are something that we always require because we don't have time to create the forms. We don't have time to create the certificates. Something which is automatic, it's very uh, handy to us. So yeah, one piece of advice, one tip here I would like to share with the educators is that if you want to test lena chahte ho, ya jo bhi exam lena chahte ho, be very, very sure that you prepare well in advance and you test the form yourself. You test the form yourself. So uh, yeah, feedback form link is already shared, but I'll be sharing the feedback form link again in the group. Yes, just a moment. Yeah, maybe we can just send the email to the registered participants, those who joined, and even in the WhatsApp group. Yes. So it was a brilliant section uh, uh, session, okay. Dr. Varia. A okay. lot of information. Yeah. So thank you, everyone, for being in the session. I'm just now uh, stopping the record. If you have any questions.